He is known for his significant contribution to the field of biochemistry and molecular biology. He is recognized for his invention of the polymerase chain reaction technique, a groundbreaking method in scientific research. His name is Kerry Mollis. In the realm of biochemistry and molecular biology, one name stands out, Kerry Banks Mollis. This American biochemist made an indelible mark on the field with his groundbreaking invention of the polymerase chain reaction PCR, technique. Mollis' revolutionary discovery earned him the esteemed 1993 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, which he shared with Michael Smith. The PCR technique became a cornerstone in scientific research, with the New York Times describing it as a milestone that divided biology into two distinct eras, before PCR and after PCR. Mollis' invention of PCR brought about a seismic shift in the field of biochemistry. This technique allowed scientists to amplify and analyze DNA with unparalleled precision and efficiency. It became an essential tool in various applications, such as studying genetic diseases, identifying DNA evidence in criminal investigations, and advancing our understanding of human evolution. Mollis' achievement propelled the field forward, revolutionizing the way researchers approached molecular biology. However, Mollis was not without controversy. He stirred up debates by downplaying humans' role in climate change and expressing doubts about HIV being the sole cause of AIDS. Additionally, he held beliefs in the paranormal, particularly fascinated by the concept of ghosts. Despite these contentious views, Mollis' contribution to the field of biochemistry remains unparalleled. His invention of PCR opened up new frontiers in scientific research and continues to shape the landscape of molecular biology to this day. In the early 1980s, Kerry Mollis was working as a chemist for Cetus Corporation. One day, while driving near his country home in Mendocino County, he had a groundbreaking idea. He realized that by using a pair of primers and DNA polymerase, he could amplify a small stretch of DNA quickly, a technique that would revolutionize molecular biology laboratories. Mollis's supervisor, Thomas White, recognized the potential of this technique, known as PCR, and reassigned Mollis to focus on it full-time. On December 16, 1983, Mollis successfully demonstrated PCR. However, some of his colleagues remained skeptical due to perceived methodological problems and a lack of appropriate controls. Despite this, other scientists at CETUS, including Randall Sakey, Henry Ehrlich, and Norman Arnheim, worked on parallel PCR projects. Sakey generated important data, and Ehrlich published the first paper utilizing the technique while Mollis continued working on his own paper. Finally, in 1985, Mollis, Seiki, and Ehrlich published their groundbreaking paper titled Enzymatic Amplification of Beta-Globin Genomic Sequences and Restriction Site Analysis for Diagnosis of Sickle Cell Anemia. This paper described the invention of the polymerase chain reaction and was recognized with a citation for Chemical Breakthrough Award. The PCR technique had immense implications for biochemistry, molecular biology, genetics, medicine, and forensics. One drawback of PCR was the constant need to replace the DNA polymerase in each replication cycle. In 1986, Seiki introduced a heat-resistant DNA polymerase called TAC polymerase, derived from Thermophilus aquaticus. This modification made PCR more affordable, easier to automate, and revolutionized various fields. The impact of PCR cannot be overstated, as it enabled scientists to generate a large amount of specific DNA sequences from simple chemicals and temperature changes. Despite receiving a bonus for his invention, Mollis was disappointed when Cetus sold the PCR patent to Roche Molecular Systems for a significant amount of money. He denounced his supervisor and the parallel team members as vultures. Nonetheless, Mollis continued to make significant contributions, including inventing a UV-sensitive plastic that changes color in response to light. In 2011, Mollis founded Ultramune LLC to explore new ideas related to the immune system. He even collaborated with the U.S. government to develop a treatment for anthrax, which proved to be 100% effective, far surpassing the previous treatment's 40% effectiveness. Mollis's dedication to scientific innovation and his passion for making a difference in the world continues to inspire others. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.